When deciding on which cos 2x to choose from, because there's three options, you need to make a clever decision. And it's quite simple actually, most of the time. What you do is you look at the answer that you're trying to get to. Now why am I only looking at the top? Well that's because this cos 2x is at the top. And I look at what I'm wanting to get. I'm trying to get more sin. So I'm going to choose the one that gives me more sin and that's going to be this one over here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. And then whenever you have a sin 2x, you want to change that one. So what we're going to end up with is sin x, or first we should say which side we're working on, but that's obviously the left-hand side because you always work on the more complicated side. So we're going to say that sin x minus, now in brackets, you're going to say 1 minus 2 sin squared x. It must be in brackets, guys. And then at the bottom, we're going to have 2 sin x cos x minus cos x. Now we just want to simplify. And then the bottom already is simplified. Now remember in the previous question, number 54, I said that when you get to this step, you then need to factorize. Now factorizing takes on different steps, such as difference of squares, trinomials, common factors. Can you see that at the top we actually have a trinomial? So I'm just going to rearrange it to look more like a trinomial, like that. And then at the bottom, we're just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so we're going to factorize this top one as a trinomial. And so that's going to obviously end up with two brackets. The one will have a 2 sin x. And you might have to pause the video just to make sure you understand how I got everything. But this one's going to be plus 1 like that, and this one would be minus 1. At the bottom, there is a common factor, because if you look at these two terms, there's a common factor of cos x. And then you'd be left with 2 sin x minus 1. And now what's really nice is that this cancels with this one. And so we're left with sin x plus 1 over cos x. And if we look at the original question, that's exactly what we were trying to get. And so we can say, therefore, the left-hand side is the right-hand side.